and neither party will mind if I tell this story, but Rob Wilson, who's, who's a very good friend of mine, but also an incredibly articulate, intelligent analysis of the art of Grand Prix driving, has done several days with Adrian Newey over the years, partly because Adrian is a very fast racing driver and wants to be a better racing driver, and partly because I think Adrian is and was and still will be always interested in the dynamics of driving a car and what it takes. And there was one moment when Rob was explaining, in his opinion, to Adrian that the key, one of the key elements of driving well is to minimize the, minimize the downside of the moment of rotation of the car, which is the moment that no car wants to go through. It wants to travel in a straight line, but at some moment it's got to get around the corner and at some moment you've got to apply the lock you need to get around the corner, to put it very bluntly. And, and Rob was saying, you know, the, the, the great drivers always minimize the look, are looking to minimize the downside of that rotation moment. And that's not an easy thing to do. It's very easy to put the steering in, have the back end come out, put a bit of opposite lock on, get the power on, and be unbelievably slow on exit. To get it absolutely right, very, very difficult. And Adrian took that point on board. And then a couple of weeks later said, yeah, yeah, and I was watching Kimi Raikkonen at Indianapolis. It was when Kimi was really quick in the McLaren. And he said, yeah, he was doing that. I could see that he was just feeling the moment when it was, it was turn one, when it was exactly right to load up the steering. But he said, what, but what shocked me though, was that he was very inconsistent because the next lap he was doing it, he, he turned it in a slightly different place. And the lap after that, it was slightly different. And Rob said, well, that is it. That is the art. He's feeling every lap. The fuel load is a little bit lighter, that the temperature of the track surface has probably gone up a couple of degrees, that the brake temperatures have probably gone up a little bit as well. Tire tread temperature has probably changed. He's feeling all those things all the time and he's constantly compensating from all the variables that are changing. And that's what makes a great Grand Prix driver. And that's what Max Verstappen does. He's feeling constantly. He's giving himself a platform created, if you like, by his early braking, which allows him to feel everything else that's going to be affecting the car from here. Down the pit straight about 210 miles an hour, just looking for a braking point on the left-hand side. Bang, down it goes to 70 miles an hour. In fact, his first sector was not that spectacular. At the moment, it's neat and tidy, but he brakes quite early for turn four, but at least no mistakes. He now knows exactly how the car is handling and how much grip the track is preparing.